So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you probably know by now that I'm a big fan of the Mac operating system, uh, but I'm a bigger fan of getting things done efficiently. Uh, so here are 12 hidden features of Mac OS that you may not have known about. And even if you're a beginner to Mac or you've been on a Mac for years, you probably will learn something new and find something useful in this list. So let's get right into it. You can actually digitally sign any PDF using Preview by going to Tools, Annotate, Signature, Manage Signatures, and you can hold up your signature to the webcam and it will automatically create a digital signature for you that you can place anywhere on any PDF wherever you want to sign it. So one of my most used keyboard shortcuts on the Mac is Command plus Spacebar, and many of you know that that brings up Spotlight Search, where you can quickly search for a file or application on your Mac to quickly open it. But a lot of people don't realize that you can do a lot more things in Spotlight Search than just search for things. So for example, you can do math calculations within Spotlight Search by typing in the equation in there, and it does it right there on the spot. And you can even look up things like the weather and the currencies. For example, if you want to find out how many US dollars are in one Great Britain pound, you can do that. And you can even check on things like flight statuses as well. So don't forget that Spotlight Search can do a lot more than just search for things. That is Command plus Spacebar. Just like iOS, Mac OS has a built-in emoji keyboard. You can get to it by pressing down the Control, Command, and Spacebar at the same time. And it'll bring up the emoji keyboard where you can choose from all your favorite emojis. You may already know that you can quickly switch between apps by holding down the command key and hitting the tab button to switch between the open apps. But did you know that you can actually quit or hide the open apps as well from this tab menu? So if you keep holding down command key and land on a certain app, if you hit H, it will hide it. And if you hit Q, it will actually quit that app. Mac OS has a built-in speech to text feature called dictation. Instead of typing, just press the function key twice and the microphone icon will pop up and then you can start speaking into your microphone and it will type out what you're talking and when you're done, you just click done. You can quickly create a text file from any selected text instead of manually creating the file itself and copying and pasting the text in there. You can select the text, then drag it and drop it into a folder or onto the desktop and it will automatically create a file with that selected text already in it. You can actually change brightness and volume in quarter step increments by holding down the shift and option keys while adjusting the brightness up and down. It goes in quarter step increments instead of the full increments. And you can do this with brightness and with volume. So if you want more precise control over those two areas, you can use this keyboard shortcut. If you ever wanted a TLDR, too long didn't read summary of a big long blog post, for example, you can go up to the app and click the app's name in the top left, then go to services, services preferences, click on services and make sure that summarize is checked. And then you can go back to that app and select the text that you want summarized. Uh, this is a big long blog post here. And once you have it selected, right click, click services, summarize, and it will give you a summary of that blog post or whatever the text that you selected. And if you want a longer summary with more information in it, you can slide the bar all the way towards 100%. Or if you want a very short, brief summary, you can slide it more towards the one. If you have a retina display on your Mac, you can go to system preferences, click on the displays icon, and then click on scaled and choose more space. And what this does is scales everything down. As long as you're okay with seeing things in smaller text and smaller sizes, it essentially gives you more workspace and it works great for things like video editing. If you have a trackpad connected to your Mac, you can actually select a word and do a three finger tap to quickly pop up the definition of that word from the dictionary. Mac OS has some pretty sophisticated built-in screenshot capabilities. My most used function is the Command Shift 4, which allows you to drag a custom size area on the screen and it will automatically save that screenshot to your desktop. Command Shift 3 will capture the entire desktop and save that picture to the desktop. If you do Command Control Shift 3, it will capture the entire screen, but copy it to the clipboard instead of saving it to the desktop. If you do Command Control Shift 4, you can capture a dragged area and it will automatically copy it to the clipboard. If you do command shift four, you can actually space capture a window, a certain window that you have open and it will save it to your desktop. And finally, you can do command control shift four and you can capture a certain window, but it will automatically copy it to the clipboard instead of saving it to the desktop. And last but not least, if you're an experienced Mac user, you probably already know about this feature, but it's one of my most used features, so I saved it for last. Uh, but it's very easy, very simple. Spacebar previews files. So if you're on a file, you press spacebar, it will preview it without actually opening it. And you can do this with pictures, videos, 
PowerPoint presentations, PDFs, even things like fonts. So don't forget about that space bar to preview. It'll save you some time. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed these 12 hidden features of Mac OS. Let me know in the comment section below if you knew about any of these or if I'm missing something. If you have some type of feature, hidden feature on the Mac OS that I need to know about or you want others to know about, leave a comment down below and let me know. And let me know which one of these is your favorite or most used feature if you've already used it before. Thank you for watching. Share this with your Mac friends. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. My name is Andy and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.